let's see a show of hands. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I'd love to see it. So, I'm going to go over the rules and how this works. Basically, there are three rounds. Each round is 20 minutes that painters will be able to go up and paint on stage. In the first round and the second round, you guys are going to vote with the code that you got as you came in the door. Now, if you didn't get one of those, go back to the door and you can get a link to be able to vote on. Now, the, there's going to be six artists up there. The top two from the first round and the top two from the second round are going to advance to the third round. Whoever wins that third round gets a cash prize, and all of this art goes on silent auction. Please bid early, bid often. And you guys get to vote how that's gonna turn out. Now, we're gonna wait till the end of the second round before we announce what that, uh, the winners of the first and second round are. And also for the second round, we're going to pull a wild card. That means one of you from the audience that put your name into that bucket up at the front will be able to go up there and paint. If you didn't have the opportunity to put your name up there, you can also go do that up at the front. I encourage all of you to be brave. Now, without further ado, I'm going to pass the microphone over to our MC for the evening, Mike Lively, right here. But before that, let's hear it from the venue. The SMP, welcome to Great Northern, guys. First off, we can still say until February 1, Happy New Year. Yes, it is, everyone. If you got the cat ears, you're awesome. There's some cat ears left upstairs. Good. All right, guys, shall we bring our artists soon? Shall we do that? Are you guys ready for your first round of artists? I want to hear it. We're going to take some great local artwork home tonight. Check out what they have to offer. Remember, bid on these pieces of art. It's really good to support a local artist. I'm going to bring them out right now. This is DJ Craig's show right here, throwing down some great music tonight. Can I get some beats to bring out these artists? All right, here we go. Our first artist. She's inspired by music, visual, tech, art, trees, and flowers. Enjoys songwriting, singing with her guitar, and long walks on her leaves. Are you ready for Amanda Bowie? He's coming out right about now. This guy is so embedded in the SF art scene. I love him. He's always hanging out. Just give it up for Hash. His name is Hash. He's coming out right now. Hash! This next artist is a San Francisco based artist who specializes in creating both realistic and abstract works. Can you please give it up? For Vanessa Ramirez! Who knows Vanessa? Raise your hands if you know Vanessa. That's what I'm talking about. She is awesome. The next artist is a multi dimensional artist who's excited to compete in his first art battle. Can you please give it up for Gio Angeles? Gio! Next artist is a muralist who focuses on social environmental issues, politics, identity, and vulnerability. I like this guy a lot. He's really fun. He's a real sweet guy, and he's a fucking hell of a painter. Anthony Jimenez! Let's go, Anthony. You've seen this guy's work all over town. He kills it. All right. And our last artist in round one, definitely. Definitely an amazing artist right here. Been painting since she was four. She paints with work inspired by aesthetics of master and nature. Here we go. Via Yoridia. Totally worth her name. Here she goes. Really known for that. Artists, are you ready? Excuse me. Artists, are you ready? Raise your hands if you are ready. Audience, can you give them a round of applause? They're up there. There's 400 of you. There's five of them. We're gonna get this started. We're gonna start this counter right here. Here we go. We're gonna art battle in five, four, three, two, one. Art battle. All right, guys. Now here all right. Hello and welcome everyone to Art Battle in
All right, hello and welcome everyone to Art Battle San Francisco. We have an absolutely incredible lineup of artists for you here tonight. Uh, we have our first six artists painting right now in round number one. We've just started, so they have 20 minutes on the clock to go from blank canvas to finished masterpiece right in front of your eyes. Uh, we are with Gio Angeles right now and looks like Gio is starting off with a little bit of sketch work, uh, really getting into the planning stages of the painting. And I believe that this is actually Gio's first ever art battle. And Gio is actually a tattoo artist. And just behind him, we are looking at Hashem. Moving over to Hashem right now. And Hashem is someone that I was really looking forward to seeing tonight. Uh, Hashem tends to do these just absolutely beautiful, very emotive, uh, very painterly multimedia portraits. And I think that that's what we're being treated to already right now. Looks like we're getting started off with a little bit of uh, charcoal potentially being washed out with some water, um, almost like a watercolor treatment here. And uh, just from the way that this shape is coming together, I feel like this is going to end up being a portrait. We're getting kind of that central axis uh, coming down the center. And I think that maybe that is going to end up being um, the shadow in the middle of a face. Potentially quite abstract at this point, though. Uh, two and a half minutes in, and Hashem has quite a lot of uh, composition covered on the canvas already, so v working very rapidly. And I think that we're getting maybe the impression of an eye at this point. Uh, I love these first few minutes in our battle because we really uh, are still very much in the element of surprise, just seeing the first few marks being laid down on these canvas. Uh, and still there's so, so much room for interpretation. And really the first few minutes definitely set the scene for the rest of the round, uh, just because it's all a time management game in live competitive painting. So this artist is on the floor. And Vanessa, I think that this is Vanessa Ramirez. And it looks like they are working on um, potentially using some charcoal also. And we have this central tree uh, coming into creation right now. Getting that nice close-up view. Um, what I love about working with charcoal is that it creates this uh, looseness of powder that can really be um, buffed out to create different levels of shade and also creates these beautiful uh, marks where you can see the canvas coming through underneath and just adds to its kind of expressive nature. And moving over here to Baya. And Baya is creating uh, what looks like is potentially a water scene. We're having um, a lot of blue on the canvas and Baya is known very well for doing a lot of textural wave uh, paintings. And I think that that's definitely what we're seeing here. Off to an absolutely stunning start. Uh, only five minutes in and Baya has the whole canvas covered. Lots of great texture. Lots of great texture here. Um, coming in with the palette knife as well. And really uh, getting a chance to layer all of that pigment on top of each other. And the way that she's laying down uh, this paint with this palette knife, we're getting kind of this effect of when she's putting it down and pulling it up, it's 
pulling the paint up just a little bit and creating these peaks. Um, almost if you're imagining uh, icing a cake and the way that the icing flows and creates uh, little peaks and textures, that's the way that Baya is uh, treating this paint right now and just layering and layering these textures. And as she's stippling this palette knife across the canvas, we're getting also the color underneath. And uh, really interesting to see the way that these colors are blending together uh, in these specific mark making techniques. And here we are, of course, with uh, Anthony Jimenez. And Anthony was actually the representative for San Francisco in the U.S. National Championship in 2022. So very, very exciting to have Anthony back. Uh, he is an artist that I just adore watching paint. And uh, this being a seven minute painting is flooring me already. Look at the compartmentalization of these shadows. I just stunning. Really getting that beautiful ridge of the collarbone here and such a strong use of color. And if this is Anthony's only palette, if he doesn't have any hidden palette anywhere, uh, it looks like we're going just black and red here, which I think is such a bold move. Um, I don't even see any white on the palette there to uh, pull out any highlights at the end. I think that Anthony is just going to be playing with these two colors and using potentially the red uh, and the red at its most saturated point as the highlight. And moving over here to Vanessa Ramirez. And it looks like we're getting a portrait here, potentially a monkey portrait. Uh, I feel like that's the vibe that I'm starting to get here. Um, just seeing this little shape on the side of the head. Uh, I think that that looks like a little monkey ear and we've got this big uh, happy smile happening. And again, quite a lot of work and uh, canvas covered in our first half of the round here. All of these works are available for silent auction as well, at the same link that is on your screen. You will be using that link to vote the top two artists from each round. We'll be moving forward into a third and final showdown round. So as we're watching the performance of these artists tonight, I want you to think not only of whose painting is best and who do you think has the best visual representation, uh, but also whose performance are you enjoying the most. So we've had our first revolution around the canvas to see our first six artists uh, painting and we've gotten to see how they've treated their first half of the timed competition. Um, and now we're really going into the second half. Uh, they've established where they're going with their paintings. They've established their first marks, their first steps. And now we're really getting into uh, the crunch time of where they're honing in on these ideas and uh, really starting to get quite technical. Interesting compositional choice from Vanessa here. Um, taking this portrait into uh, just a single hemisphere of the face here and uh, cutting it off basically in the middle of the nose and then using the rest of the canvas for that blue. And getting a little zoom here on Geo. And it looks like Geo is doing a dancer, potentially. We're getting um, a figure. I think this is from the back. We can see that kind of shape of the hair. Um, and this figure is looking quite delicate. Uh, very, it's small on the canvas. And so there's a lot of detail work that is going in there. So getting a little bit closer up with Geo here. 
navigating through our lights and we can see that Geo even is using uh, his hand to brace and rest his painting hand on top of. I always love seeing little performance nuances like that uh, in Art Battle because it kind of reminds us how difficult it, it is to keep your hands steady when you're painting. And it gives us a little bit of insight into kind of the artist's studio. I, I don't totally know why, but it's one of my favorite things to see is just to see an artist and the way that they brace their hand. It's that kind of little spark of uh, personality coming through. So this figure, fairly small on the canvas, but I think that there's a lot of room in the bottom hemisphere of the canvas here, potentially for some sort of uh, voluminous skirt coming through. I would love to see that from this piece. I'd love to see um, some big texture, big bold color coming through. And back with Hashem here. And Hashem is not disappointing. We're getting this uh, emotive portrait. And I was correct in assuming that that kind of hemisphere approach uh, to the face where we were getting shading on one side was going to be uh, the delineating point between two sides of the face. Uh, and we've got our nose right in the center there. And these big, bold eyebrows coming in. So Hashem is really... Uh, established quite a lot of the painting with mid-tone and is now going in with uh, darker points of contrast to bring those features forward. Really honing in on the shape of the eye and I'm almost hoping that Hashem keeps the rest of the portrait uh, quite abstract. I'm liking that kind of ghosty feeling on the other side um, that's just the suggestion of the features. We're getting this tighter approach into the darker side and then totally light in the highlights and very washy, very painterly. Um, but with seven minutes left on the clock, it's really anyone's guess on how this piece is going to finish up. Um, if that component that I want to remain unfinished is going to remain so, or if it's going to be um, honed and uh, finished and have more details added into it. And moving over to Amanda Fode here, uh, who was our artist that we saw painting on the floor in just a moment. Still with Hashem here uh, and getting that really great sense of contrast into the top corner as well with that hit of black. Uh, really adding some visual weight there. So we are entering into our final quarter of this round, our final five minutes, uh, just over five minutes on the clock. Voting is now open at artbattle.com slash AB2426. That is where you will register to vote uh, and you will get a text to your phone after you enter your phone number to choose your favorite artist. And you can also access the auction that way. You don't need to be in the room to be able to collect any of these works. So here we are with Amanda, and Amanda is still on the floor drawing with charcoal. And I think as we get closer, we're gonna be able to see more of the composition here. And looks like we're getting uh, a bridge in the background. And, but this tree is really the central axis, uh, the central focus of this piece.
Yes, definitely looks like we're getting the Golden Gate Bridge here. Um, so apt to be drawing or painting this uh, super famous bridge as this competition is taking place in San Francisco. So we're definitely getting a audience recognition uh, point there for Amanda, I think. And I think that that's going to be a good strategy for her with the crowd to have that point of recognition from that bridge. Uh, because I do think that Amanda is having a little bit of trouble with the competition just in terms of people being able to see the work. So it's going to be super important that this piece is really cohesive uh, once she finishes it and puts it back up on the easel. Again, with that kind of uh, dusty component of the charcoal, something that I really like uh, that it's that we can see that Amanda has uh, pushed it outward into the rest of the canvas to kind of convey this almost like a roiling sky. Heading back over to Baya here. And if we were excited about the texture before, uh, we are even more excited now, especially with this camera angle and the way that the light is playing off of the canvas. Camera angle and the way that the light is playing off of the canvas. Uh, we are just seeing all of the luscious texture that's been created here. Um, all of these beautiful uh, hills and valleys of paint. And we can see even that just heavy application and she is just spreading it with so much confidence as well. Um, this is a palette that Baya is very well versed in, uh, very close to how she paints in her studio work. And you can really see the maturity of technique coming in uh, through here. You can see that this is something that she's used to painting. Uh, and I think that that's a really strong strategy to be bringing to Art Battle for sure, because not only is it going to be recognizable for people who are already in her audience, but it's something that she can uh, feel comfortable executing and that will stay with people. And getting that other side of the view, previously we were looking at all of the gorgeous texture and now getting this kind of flip side view where the lighting isn't so harsh, we can really, really appreciate the color story here um, and get a better sense of the form of the painting. And uh, I'm getting almost a little bit of like a Hokusai energy with the great wave. We can really see the, uh, the boiling of the sea, the kind of super energy that these waves have crashing and even in the sky the sky is a little bit flatter of an execution but there's even so much depth there a really fantastic piece Getting into our last 90 seconds here, and we can see that Anthony has created such a tight piece in the background here. Uh, checking out that red portrait, just absolutely stunning. So clean. And something that Anthony does that I've seen him do at Art Battle before actually that I always really enjoy is this kind of addition of a frame within the painting. So he's created this box around the painting and it just creates such a sense of being finished and is almost a little bit tongue in cheek as well because the canvas itself is a frame, but adding the frame on top of that just brings it into a little bit almost like a different dimension. I really um, appreciate that kind of emphasis. It's really uh, just helping to kind of create that punch for this character. And this character is so, uh, so present and such a strong level of kind of confrontational energy, but very strong and prideful. Five, four, three, two, one. That's our battle. Breathe in deep, y'all. Breathe in deep. All right, our battle. 
Now it's your turn. They worked their asses off for you. Now please open all those up. Make sure you start bidding on your favorite art and also choosing your favorite to go to round two. So we have bidding open and we have voting open, right? So vote for your favorite artist right now and make sure you put a bid on local artists you can take home with you right now. I'm telling you, this is a great place to do it. Grab a drink, do a Wow, what a spectacular first round for this edition of Art Battle in San Francisco. I, I gotta say, I'm majorly impressed with these artists, and especially there were so many different styles present, and I feel like each artist definitely stayed really, really true to their personal artistic voice. I recognize uh, the artist's studio work in a lot of their live painting, uh, and I think that's a really strong strategy as well. So if uh, after you cast your vote at artbattle.com slash AB2426, uh, you can also head over to the Art Battle San Francisco Instagram and check out all of these artists. We have each of their individual portfolios tagged, so you can see what I mean when I'm talking about uh, studio work versus... Uh, live painting and it's so interesting to see how those two styles translate and meld into each other and inform one another. I uh, just really really impressed with these artists in round number one. We will be counting the votes for just a few minutes and round number two will be back in about 10 minutes. In the meantime, go to that link, make sure that you vote. The top two artists from this round will be moving forward into the third and final round. And our second qualifying round happening again in just a few minutes. So make sure that you visit that link, cast your vote, and also bid on these works. You don't need to be in the room to collect them. We will ship them to you. A really fantastic display of courage and talent and creativity for round number one of Art Battle in San Francisco. So impressed by these artists. We will be back for round number two in just a few minutes. We are counting the votes now. Make sure that you go to artbattle.com slash AB2426. That is where you will register to vote and you can also bid on all of these works. You don't need to be in the room. We will ship them to you.
We have round number two of Art Battle in San Francisco coming up in just about five minutes. We're gonna have another six amazing artists stepping up to the easels and tackling blank canvases in only 20 minutes. Round number two is starting in about five minutes. In the meantime, make sure that you get your votes in at artbattle.com slash AB2426 and register to vote. And you can also check out the auction there, which I hear is uh, going quite well. So if you have any of, if you have your eye on any of these paintings, make sure that you get in there and bid. Round number two, starting in just about two minutes. We're going to have another six absolutely amazing artists stepping up to the easels in just two minutes. They're going to have another 20 minutes and another blank canvas to tackle. So see that coming up very soon. for the bucket. I got one over here. One person put their name to the bucket. All right, two people put their name to the bucket. All right, there's a lot of people here, so this may take a little time. If we say your name, you have 30 seconds to let us know you're here. Otherwise, we move on to the next artist. Here we go, Adrian's gonna do it. What do we got going on right here? Here we go. The first artist is Sanchana. Sanchana? Is Sanchana here? Sanchana, Sanchana. If you're here, okay, then get over here. Uh, Show me who you are. Sanchana, come here. Come on, girl. Let's go. Oh, 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 get up here. Up here. I wonder if you like, I fucked up. Everybody meet Sanchana. She'll be a wild girl right now. Don't let anybody down. There's only 400 people here. All right, guys. How many artists ready over here? Are you guys ready? Yes? 
You guys ready? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to meet your Russian artists right about now? Yeah, that's good question, man. This first artist has been a teacher in title in school for five years. He creates through acrylic and oil painting, printmaking, love letters, and art education. She's really sweet, and we like her a lot. Mazi Zakini, come on up. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, our next round two part. Oh, there's a lot of love for Mozzie out there. Let's hear it for her again. Mozzie! Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, Maisie, I got you. All right. This artist loves to create something from nothing using newspapers from around the world. She loves to go to college. Let's give it up for Jess Bolt. Jess, where are you? The next artist is a multidisciplinary artist originally based from Chicago. Her art ranges from painting and drawing to sculptures and self-portraits painted on herself. Obviously, self-portrait. Let's give it for Oksana! Come on, Oksana! You do get extra points for Jalen like that. Oh, you got some Oksana fans out there, huh? Right. His artist said to be visualism, his idea of portrait painting through lens of cubist futurist perspective is an art that he loves to teach. I'd like to bring out Michael Walker right now. We love Michael Walker right now. Michael Walker, you And our last, last artist for round two. And don't forget, we will announce the winner of round two and round one after this round. So stick around for that. Same deal, you're gonna vote on these guys, you're gonna bet on their paintings. Our last artist right now is a member of the creative union of Russian artists. She's also an artist in residence at Kennedy Gallery in Big South Sacramento and enjoys painting with different techniques and materials. Our final round two artist is Anna. Anna, where are you? Or Anna? She around for it. This one. Alright guys, let's hear it all for these artists. We're gonna get started in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Art Battle! Round 2. Here we go. Get yourself a drink. And we are off for round number two of Art Battle in San Francisco. Uh, I have to say, I'm really, really jazzed about these artists. Um, quite a few of them in this round are new also, which is very exciting. Uh, and we can see that this artist is uh, off to a bit of a challenging start already. Uh, their easel is starting to tip over. You know, there's always wild cards. There's always uh, challenges at the, uh, in the Art Battle arena. So who are we looking at now? I'm not sure which artist exactly this is yet because uh, they have their reference material actually covering their name card. So big uh, level of preparation here, which I actually really appreciate. Um, there is lots of uh, prep material that this artist has created for this round. I, which I always, always appreciate an artist who comes prepared. Um, and that definitely means that they've been thinking about their art battle approach, um, how they want to convey what they're going to be painting at the easel, um, and a huge uh, amount of work done on this canvas already. We have quite a lot of color down. We've got this kind of rusty brown going and then um, some kind of abstracted shapes that are happening in the center of the canvas. And if we're checking it out at the top where they have their reference material um, taped up to the easel, we can see a portrait also. So I'm uh, really interested to see where this piece goes. And 
and we can see that this artist has uh, scrubbed away a lot of the paint that they had originally applied and that has left this really wonderful kind of ghosting image uh, and has just left the impression of the paint behind. Just from the style of painting, I'm actually thinking that this might be Maisie. And coming over here, I believe that the, this has to be uh, Jess Bolt. Jess is actually an experienced art battle artist. Uh, this is her fifth art battle. Uh, she loves painting in art battle. And Jess is known for collaging techniques with painting. So that's definitely uh, what we have going down here. And uh, we can see that Jess is applying these, what looks like newspaper clippings. Um, some of them are a little bit yellowed too, and we have that kind of vintage car going on also. So I think that Jess has really dug into her kind of archive of uh, clippings for us here tonight. And we're getting quite an interesting approach. And we can see that she's smoothing those out with her fingers, um, getting this sponge application technique. And again, this is only the first three minutes. And I think that Jess is really using this time to kind of prepare the ground for what she's gonna be painting on top of. So this is gonna be a really uh, interesting approach. And I absolutely am so excited to see where Jess's piece goes. And this artist here has quite a lot of blue going down on the canvas uh, and really uh, heavy application technique, lots of texture in here as well. So looking forward to seeing whether or not that texture stays present uh, or if it's gonna be obscured and blended into each other. We have kind of areas of color that are more blended in and then areas where you're seeing that kind of evidence of the brushwork. And getting that kind of gorgeous uh, phthalo green mixed with a cerulean blue. Um, I love the way that that's coming through on the canvas. We're getting kind of, almost this kind of glow. It's definitely giving me like Monet feels. I think that this might actually be our wild card artist. Looking back, we can see this kind of uh, highlight and push and pull of the weight of the color that's being applied to the canvas. We have this darker portion uh, right at the bottom and then those highlights are kind of sitting on top. And I think that this is Oksana for a Senko, and uh, Oksana is going in with some geometric abstracted shapes in uh, a really playful color palette here. Lots of kind of pastel hues uh, and super bright in that yellow. So already I think that we can uh, determine that this is going to be a very playful piece. Uh, Oksana's studio work is very psychedelic. Uh, there's definitely a kind of fantastical uh, fantasy element to it. There are a lot of uh, figures that are kind of floating and interacting with each other in all of these interesting ways. Um, and really almost like a maximalist approach from Oksana in her studio work. So interested to see how that translates to the live painting arena. Uh, we can see that she's working really, really hard right now on keeping these shapes very clean. Uh, and I actually really like that I'm not sure what they are at this point. And that's one of my favorite things about watching a painting evolve is as we, the audience, uh, revolve around the easels, we get to see these paintings at all of these different uh, points of finishing. And so many little bits are revealed as we come and visit them again.
over with Michael Walker now. Uh, and Michael is someone that we have seen at the Art Battle San Francisco Easel before. He was a previous finalist. Uh, always exciting to have a finalist back at the Easel again. And Michael uh, describes his work as cubist futurist, uh, influenced by creating mood via color and shape. And I think that that's such an apt description for the kind of work that Michael does. And right now we're seeing these kind of uh, abstracted shapes and almost that cubist influence, even though we're just in the very beginning stages of this piece. And as we get closer also, we can see uh, the underdrawing that Michael has applied here. So uh, it's a little bit difficult to pick up in the camera, but we can see that there's definitely some pencil drawing uh, going on in the center of this shape here. So Michael's definitely got um, a game plan. Ooh, and I, th I feel like I'm seeing an abstracted face in there. Does anyone else see that? Would love to chat with you guys in the comments about uh, what you're seeing being revealed from these two uh, abstract approach pieces from Oxana and Michael. It's about eight minutes into the round now. And uh, it looks like all of these artists have really got quite a good start going. We have a lot of canvas covered uh, and a lot of compositions kind of established. Michael working in this warm color family, uh, enjoying that kind of rusty red. And then we have a little bit more of a, co a coral kind of color. And now, of course, he's going in with this like fluorescent pink. And I think that that's going to be a really fun uh, color story for him to keep playing with. And we have a packed crowd tonight, a packed house, uh, lots of amazing uh, energy, or there's a great energy here in the crowd tonight. Um, we can definitely see that the artists are feeding off of this energy as well. Uh, everyone's looking like they're really having a great time for sure. And this is Anna up at the easel right now. And Anna is absolutely exploding off of this canvas right now. Uh, as we're coming around in this kind of challenging angle, we can see that she's painting a peacock. Um, and the peacock is just in the bottom kind of center. The body of the peacock is in the bottom center of the canvas. And then she's got this explosion of color and pattern that is just like radiating out from the bird. And I think that this is going to be a really, really eye-catching eye piece uh, for the crowd, I think that it translates well from a distance. And also up close, we have uh, these great detailed components. And then, of course, this just like pow in your face use of color. And uh, I think that Anna is going to be a crowd favorite for sure. Even in just the way that Anna has approached uh, the feathers on the actual back body of the peacock here, the collection of those tight feathers and the way that they begin to expand and radiate outward, um, it's a really mature piece. We have seen quite a few peacocks at Art Battle before, and oftentimes uh, it's almost as if the bird itself becomes kind of an afterthought to the starring uh, tail and all of the pattern that's going on in the tail. But I think that Anna has done a really great job of balancing um, the execution of the painting of the actual bird and then the very exciting component of that uh, very theatrical tail. And here we are back with Maisie, uh, who was our artist that we were trying to figure out who it was because they have their uh, 
reference material over their name tag. But now we, I definitely am recognizing that this is um, Maisie, just totally based on this style. Maisie has this really cool intuitive way of painting that is very based in uh, mark making. And when I say that, what I mean is as she's painting the piece, she's really allowing it to tell her what it needs next. So it's not so much of a plan. It's about um, working with the art to create the art in a sense. And she's really a painter's painter. You can see all of these uh, very what we call painterly marks. And that's when the evidence of the brushwork is there. Um, colors being mixed on canvas, uh, aggressive brush strokes also. Uh, and I think that Maisie's doing a fantastic job of creating this abstracted figure. We're having a lot of abstract work in this round uh, and I am here for it. And the pose of this figure is so interesting too. And the way that it takes up space in the frame is really interesting. We have um, the knee coming to the bottom corner and also to the top corner, and then uh, the head taking up the other top corner. So the arms aren't very present, um, and it's really helping to create the torso as a focal point by leaving those out. So we have just about six and a half minutes left on the clock for round number two of Art Battle in San Francisco. Voting is now open. So head on over to artbattle.com slash AB2426 and cast your vote. The top two artists from this round, as well as the top two artists from our previous round, will be moving forward into a third and final round where they will have a new canvas and another 20 minutes on the clock. So as you're watching these artists, not only are you thinking about whose piece is the most visually arresting, uh, but also whose performance are you enjoying the most? Who are you really um, excited about seeing and who do you want to see paint again? And I know that I'm pretty excited about who we're watching right now, and that is Jess Bolt. Uh, and we are checking out the painting component of this mixed media piece. Um, always such a pleasure to see unconventional painting styles displayed in art battle, um, especially with this collaging element. It's a very new, uh, or at least new to the art battle sphere way of painting because previously in competition we allowed only paint, only acrylic paint, um, and now we have expanded into kind of this multimedia um allowance of materials and Jess has definitely taken advantage of that and uh, the way that she's overlapping these collage elements with the painting just works so well. I think that she's doing a really great job of creating that balance of contrast by using this black paint over top of these clippings uh, and I really feel that Jess is using the negative space, the blank space of the canvas as its own compositional element uh, and allowing parts of her painting to cascade out onto that blank canvas as well as being on these collaged elements. And it creates a really interesting tension there. So back with our wildcard artist who had, uh, last time we were here, it was a blue color field and having a little bit of trouble seeing with the light but we've got a lot more going on on the canvas. We have uh, definitely some more textural components. Uh, lots of yellow has been added as well. Potentially some florals uh, going on with this piece. I think we're gonna have to get a better angle uh, just to be able to truly see what's going on here. But we can still see that uh, the earlier color field that our wildcard artist uh, painted is definitely helping the composition, um, creating that kind of fullness in the space. Three and a half minutes left on the clock. Again, voting is open at the link that is on your screen, artbattle.com slash AB2426. 
And also all of the works created tonight are also available for silent auction at that same link as well. And I have heard uh, from Art Battle headquarters that the auction is really popping off. So if you have your eye on any of these pieces, make sure that you head to that link and bid early and bid often for a chance to take any of these works home. You don't need to be in the room. We will ship them to you. We can see that our uh, camera person is navigating through the super dense crowd. Uh, a great energy going on tonight. We've got just about two minutes remaining on the canvas. So these artists are really uh, just honing in on their ideas, adding their final finishing details. Uh, very exciting part of the round because also in the last few minutes, things can really go awry. Artists, uh, in an effort to finish their piece, sometimes they make a few surprise decisions uh, that may work or may not. So it's really crunch time. Um, and it's also kind of the element of risk in the last few minutes as well. Back with Oksana. And so happy that we're getting a chance to see how Oksana is finishing uh, this piece. And I think that it is two figures back to back. Uh, definitely very abstracted, but in a way that I'm really, really enjoying. And I think that Oksana has has brought her studio style of this kind of whimsical, um, intuitive illustration uh, that is often very maximalist in her studio. I think that she's paired it back here an appropriate amount for the live painting so that she could really concentrate on her core elements. And I definitely think that she's done that here. We're getting um, the purity, the purest form of her style here. Yeah, the graphic quality of this piece is really singing, um, especially with some of the minimalist line work that's happening and the little uh, columns and blank spaces. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here's our battle. This is the Oh my goodness. Way to go, guys. That's some great art out right there. The voting is open for round two. Make sure you vote. And the bidding for round two work will start soon. Great job, artists. Bring your paints back. We'll announce the round one and round two artists very shortly in about 20 minutes. Finals coming up soon. Grab a drink. Now a fantastic second round for our battle in San Francisco. Uh, it's going to be really tough to choose which artists move forward, but it is your job as an art battle spectator to vote for your favorite artist. Vote for your favorite uh, painting, vote for your favorite performance, uh, and you can do that at that link that is on the screen right now, artbattle.com slash AB2426. Uh, these artists have painted their hearts out for you tonight in front of this uh, giant crowd and in front of our online audience as well. So make sure that you reward their creativity and courage with your support and your votes. We will have round number three, our final round, uh, coming up in just a few minutes. So make sure that you stay tuned. Right now we are going to be counting the votes from round number one uh, and also counting the votes from round number two, what we just saw as they are rolling in. Uh, and we will announce our finalists very, very shortly. So stay tuned. Uh, we will be back for our final round with our top four artists and another 20 minutes and another four blank canvases coming right up.
the votes have been counted and we will be announcing our final four artists moving forward into the third round in just a few minutes. So our finalists were just announced and moving forward into the third round will be Baya Irida, Gio Angeles, Maisie Zucchini, and Oksana Fursenko. Uh, four artists who are also first time art battlers. Uh, it's such a rarity that this happens that all four of our finalists are new to the competition. Uh, so I absolutely cannot wait to see what they bring to our final round. And that will be starting in just a few minutes, uh, just about seven minutes until we begin our final round. Those artists are going to have another 20 minutes on the clock and we'll be facing another blank canvas. So stay tuned. Round number three, our final round, starting in just about seven minutes.
We are just having a slight technical difficulty with our camera, but we will be back in just a few moments. So make sure that you stay tuned for our battle round number three, our final round of our battle in San Francisco happening in just a few minutes. We have our artists stepping up to the easels right now, readying their canvases, readying their palettes, and we will be beginning round number three, our final round of Art Battle in San Francisco in just a few moments. Our finalists going up to the easels are Baya Arita and Gio Angeles from round number one, and from round number two, Maisie Zaccini and Oksana Fersenko. So very, very excited to see these guys. Uh, painting again in our final. Once again, all of them are brand new to Art Battle, so love seeing that. Uh, these guys have brought their courage and creativity so far, and I'm sure that they're just going to blow us out of the water for what they bring uh, in our final here. They're going to have another 20 minutes on the clock to tackle these blank canvas, and that will be starting in just a few moments. number three art battle in san francisco has just begun and our four finalists are up at the easels uh, readying themselves to display even more courage and creativity than they have in their qualifying rounds we always say that in order to win an art battle uh, you have to do the best painting of your life and then uh, do it again all over again in the final round even better so uh, definitely a tough challenge for these guys tonight. 
Uh, and really, really happy for all of these artists as well because each of them are all new to Art Battle. That never happens in the final round. Uh, so really, really stoked on that. And we are here with, uh, I think that this is Oksana. And we can see that she is very carefully uh, sketching out her composition right now, battling a little bit of uh, shadow against the canvas as well. You know, there's always... Uh, different challenges in the live competition arena uh, and looks like Oksana is taking it with stride. We can see that she's uh, crouching down now to avoid that shadow on her canvas. Uh, so definitely adjusting. I, I really have a feeling that Oksana is going to be turning into an Art Battle All-Star very soon uh, and that we'll be seeing a lot more of her in Art Battle San Francisco. And also very uh, fun to announce as well that the next art battle in San Francisco on February 15th is actually going to be the regional finals where we take all of the winners from this season uh, of ABSF and have them all in competition. And the single winner of that event will be moving forward to the national championship. So very, very uh, exciting stuff going on. And one artist from tonight's event, we'll be moving forward into the finals next month. Uh, so high stakes tonight here for sure. We can see that Oksana uh, has her reference sketch as well, ready at the easel, uh, just perched on her support there. And I always love seeing that, uh, seeing an artist being super prepared. And especially, especially I love uh, seeing an artist prepared with reference work for their second painting, because there's never any guarantee as an artist when you sign up for Art Battle that you're gonna make it to the final round. You really have to have confidence uh, to confidence in yourself to have that faith uh, to create a second reference, to believe that you're gonna be getting to the final. So I love seeing that confidence from Oksana. And back with Maisie here. Uh, and Maisie, we're getting a similar uh, approach, I think, to Maisie's qualifying round piece, where we have uh, this strangely posed figure that is existing uh, in the center of the canvas. This composition is, the figure is a little bit smaller, and so I think that we're going to see Maisie really establish um, a little bit more of an environment in this piece, and it looks like we actually have a horizon line in the top third of the canvas there as well. Uh, so interested to see whether or not uh, this figure exists within a room. Right now it's giving me a little bit of like a Francis Bacon vibes where uh, often he was doing these abstracted figures in the center of the canvas that were existing in these uh, strange rooms. So that's just kind of the vibe that I'm getting off of it right now, but would love to hear from you guys in the comments about uh, where you think Macy's influence is coming from, um, what kind of feeling are you getting from this piece already? And we are swinging over to Geo, and Geo did our uh, figure in the first round that was viewed from the back and had that very tight bun. And we can see that Geo is again taking uh, this very careful approach where he is bracing his arm and steadying his brush hand uh, with his forearm of the other hand. Love seeing that. And Geo is also a tattoo artist in San Francisco. So if you're uh, loving this painting and you want to see what Geo's tattoo work is like and uh, maybe visit him in his tattoo studio, go to the Art Battle uh, San Francisco Instagram and we have linked all of our artists' profiles there and you'll be able to check out Geo's work. So similar approach here with this character, uh, also getting this back view. We have that tight bun um, being established again, very similar compositional technique of um, a smaller figure in the center of the canvas. And looks like Geo is working on the back of the arms right now, um, keeping this very symmetrical at this point. So we're just over five minutes into our final.
and we can see that Gio is very relaxed. Uh, definitely, I think, has a plan for how he wants to build this piece. Um, and I think that this is definitely going to function as a companion piece to his uh, first qualifying round. So for collectors that are looking at uh, both of these pieces side by side, might potentially want to purchase both of them as a collection because I think that they're really going to play well off of each other. Looks like a continuation uh, story for this character. And now moving over to Baya. Uh, and we can see just the edge of her canvas here, but we can already tell the color palette that she's using is that dominant blue. And we've got a lot of blue going on in the canvas uh, with this very cool gradient technique. We've got uh, darkness in the sky and light, what looks like water in the front of the canvas. And this is interesting compositionally because usually when we're seeing um, a landscape expression, we're often seeing the weight or the darkness of the canvas in the bottom half. So the way that Baya is approaching this piece has really flipped it on its head. Um, we're getting the weight at the top of the canvas and that's expressing this uh, gorgeous night sky that we just saw her kind of sparkle these uh, stars onto by hitting her brush off of her hand. And now we can see that she's adding uh, a few larger stars in there as well. Yeah, those stars are really setting this piece off for sure. Uh, the balance of getting those hits of white in this color field, this dark color field, is really helping to harmonize the piece with uh, the lighter colors that are in the foreground. Back with Oksana now, and a uh, totally, totally different approach uh, to her original qualifying round piece that was employing a lot of negative space as uh, a focal point. We can see that Oksana has really covered a lot of the canvas with this kind of periwinkle blue, uh, almost like a purpley cerulean mix. Uh, and ha that's dominating, I'd say, about three quarters of the canvas. And then we have uh, that top portion, that last quarter uh, or last third there, that is that darker blue. So looking forward to seeing how this comes together, because at this point, it's still very abstracted. Potentially, those two um, pieces that are left white could be uh, highlights on legs is maybe something that I'm guessing. Um, again, something that I really enjoy about our battle is uh, seeing the way the piece reveals itself over time. And so I'm really enjoying actually that uh, this piece isn't serving obviousness to me at this point. I'm really looking forward to continuing to see the evolution. We are just about halfway through our final round of Art Battle in San Francisco, our final qualifying event before the San Francisco finals. So some really high stakes here tonight. Uh, and voting is now open at the link on your screen, artbattle.com slash AB2426. Uh, now we're getting some hits of pink in here from Oxana. Wow, a lot has happened uh, on Maisie's canvas, and I'm so into it. The, we're really getting treated to all of these super fun abstract elements uh, that are coming together to express space and the figure. I just really am enjoying how unconventional the execution here from Maisie is. Um, we see this room, we now have this uh, armchair, but they're expressed in this really energetic way.
even just the uh, the kind of lazy stance of the figure that's in the chair with the one foot up, uh, really enjoying the sense, like the attitude that's coming through from that. And these little hits of uh, pink to highlight is great too. And we can really see that Maisie is uh, vibing off of the energy in the room and of course our DJ as well. And just seeing Maisie kind of making these decisions of where she wants to place uh, all of these different colors is something that I really enjoy as a spectator. We're seeing Maisie picking up these colors, taking a moment to assess the painting, and then seeing what the painting is asking for. Um, and that really underlines kind of the ethos of uh, Maisie's studio practice of that intuitive mark making. And then we have this kind of minimalist approach uh, from Geo, very, very similar to the qualifying round piece, uh, getting the almost treating the paint as like a watercolor technique with these super subtle gradients um, and very careful brushwork in the way that he's expressing these uh, subtle shadows. Just getting those super, super precise lines of the straps of this shirt here. Ah, uh, so happy to be here for this moment of uh, when Geo is executing the this more expressive area of the painting and just really going nuts on uh, this flourishing skirt. I think that we missed uh, we missed it in the first round, just these moments uh, of catching Geo doing this on the canvas. And so it's really fun to get to see this level of expression from him. Uh, where originally we're so used to seeing him working in this very, very careful style uh, up until this moment in the round. And now we're really seeing him branching out, um, getting very expressive, getting really into the paint, painting with his hands. Back over to Baya here. And this piece has evolved so much since we last saw it. Uh, still creating that really interesting divide of the light and the dark with uh, the sky and all of those starlit elements. But now we have Baya's kind of signature uh, roiling water and waves happening in the foreground of the canvas. And I think that that's just created so much more strength in this piece. It's very visually arresting uh, to kind of see the depth of this wave and the different levels of translucence being expressed basically solely through texture and color which is a very, uh, it's a very challenging thing to do, a heavy paint application that is able to express water. So great job, Tobiah. We are entering our last five minutes, our final quarter of this third round of Art Battle in San Francisco. Uh, our final four are just doing a great job and are absolutely painting their hearts out. I think everyone has done a great job of time management this round as well, uh, which is something to be said or is quite a triumph for these artists given that this is their first art battle. Uh, very mature live painting techniques being established here. Um, lots of crowd wooing as well, especially from uh, Baya and from Geo with that skirt moment. Very cool. I think that uh, the technique here and the building of this piece is going to be something that the crowd really appreciates from Baya as well. Uh, I think that there's probably quite a lineup around the back of her canvas. 
I am sure that the crowd has congregated there and are really enjoying the kind of the pops and surprises and the tactility of this piece. Ah, and now we're getting our reveal from Oxana. And this is so cool. Uh, we have our character, um, and this is very much like a celebration of uh, clothing and like almost a, a French, like a, a French aesthetic of old uh, Moulin Rouge posters and fashion uh, and couture illustration. We're really getting um, an emphasis on the flow of clothes here. And this element of that periwinkle blue uh, against that more midnight blue is a really interesting component as well that just brings it into that kind of graphic realm. And the addition of this blonde here is uh, just really bringing home that focal point for the figure as well. Creating such a nice contrast against that dark blue. There's a great opportunity for the eye to really bounce around this piece, the way that Oxana has uh, layered this composition and has created almost um, like an S curve for your eye to follow. From the top of the head of the figure down to their toes. Absolutely stunning piece uh, from Oksana and looks like she may have even actually stepped away from the easel. Oh, no, she was just bending down to get more paint. So two minutes remaining on the clock. And we're getting our final detail moments here from Oksana. Uh, just the addition of that black striping on the side of the face really helps to emphasize. And speaking of that black striping, uh, we are also getting it from Maisie here, adding those emphasis points around her figure as well. It's funny seeing two artists who have such different styles um, employing a similar technique, but in their own visual language. We have Oxana uh, using that very specific thin line work uh, to emphasize her character. And then we have Maisie, uh, who's doing this very intuitive approach and uh, is kind of picking and choosing the moments of the canvas that speak to her to add these uh, elements of contrast with her black line work. So very different usage of a similar technique. And that's something that I find really, really interesting. I think that the feeling of this character is so evident. I, I think we're all relating to that kind of uh, lazy day opportunity to relax. Oh, so much fun. The addition of the uh, those little toenails just really bring it home for me. I'm uh, really happy that we caught that moment with Maisie. We're in our final 30 seconds now. Really getting into these final moments. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this is oh. 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 All right, guys, the beating is open. The voting is open. The auctions will be closing probably in about 15 or 20 minutes. Please keep your eyes on your phone for a text message after the auction closes to be able to pay for your art. You need to be able to show me your receipt after the end of that so you can take your art home. 
really fantastic final round of Art Battle in San Francisco. Uh, so many different styles present as well. Uh, this really cool piece from Geo. I love the way that it evolved uh, and went from this highly specific style of painting into being very expressive um, and painterly and loose in its second half in this emphasis of the skirt. I think that's a really interesting technique and I'm sure that that's going to be uh, something that translates to the crowd really well as well. And now moving over to, I think our next painting here is Bias painting. And we're gonna get to see the uh, final result of all of those gorgeous uh, blues just layering over top of each other. Yeah, the luminosity in this piece is so undeniable. There's such a great array of textures here. We have that kind of linear texture happening in the sky, uh, and then the really sumptuous uh, texture of the water and the way that it's just curving and playing into each other uh, and just really leaping off of the canvas. Just a fantastic job from Bayab. The addition of the planets as well was something that was totally unexpected for me and I think brings this piece into a little bit of that kind of surrealism round, uh, realm and that's something that I think really adds that unique spice into this piece. So voting is now open at artbattle.com slash ab2426 and we will have one winner of the night crowned and that winner will be moving forward into the San Francisco City Finals happening on February 15th. So high stakes here tonight. Make sure that you go to that link and bid uh, and vote and bid. All of the works created are also available for a silent auction. So if you've been uh, falling in love with any of these pieces as you've been seeing them uh, being created, make sure that you head to that link and check out the auction and place some bids and support these artists. It's a great opportunity to collect. A lot of these artists uh, are selling for quite high out of their studio so it's a great accessibility point to not only collect a new piece of art and support these artists um, but get get a piece that uh, it represents a memory the because you've just watched the birth of this painting happening we will be announcing the results of our third and final round in just a few moments. We have lots of votes rolling in right now. So stay tuned for our winner announcement, uh, which will be coming very, very shortly. An absolutely gorgeous uh, final output from Oksana. I uh, really, this piece came together in such an unexpected way. And I think that that is going to lend itself well to uh, Oxana's voting stats. I think that people are going to be really um, excited about the way that Oxana built this piece and created all of these surprising elements. I think that the performance aspect of this piece is something that uh, the crowd is really going to appreciate.
the votes are being counted. We will have our winner announcement in just a few seconds. Stay tuned for our winner announcement. Who the round three winner is. That's what I like to hear. To begin with, all of this art is fucking awesome, and I super appreciate all of you coming out tonight and bidding on all of this art to support local artists. But without further ado, the winner of Art Battle tonight and of round three is Oxana! will be closing at 10.07. Please bid early, bid often. After 10.07, you winners will get a link texted to you. Follow that link to pay. Once you get that receipt, come up to the DJ booth and I will give you your art. Thank you all so very much. Our winner of Art Battle in San Francisco tonight has just been announced. A huge congratulations to Oksana Fersenko. Uh, a really, really exciting night for Oksana, her very first art battle, and she won. So big congrats to Oksana. Two very well executed pieces, and we will be seeing Oksana next month in the San Francisco finals on February 15th. We will also be streaming that show. So stay tuned to the Art Battle social media to get details about that. Um, and a big shout out to all of the artists who painted tonight. It takes a lot of courage and creativity to step up to the easels and they have done just that and created some really fantastic work here tonight. Um, and of course, a massive, massive shout out to our team on the ground in SF. Uh, they run a really amazing show, and it has been an absolute pleasure to watch it unfold with all of you tonight. So thank you so much for joining us on the stream. Uh, once again, congratulations, Oksana, and we will see you at the finals. Good night, everyone. <laughs>